Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And welcome to another episode of our Card Spotlight series in which I highlight a card that I think should see more play in Commander. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Saw in Half. For two colors and one black, it's an instant that says destroy target creature. If that creature dies this way, it's controller creates two tokens that are copies of that creature except their base power is half that creature's power and their base toughness is half that creature's toughness. Round up each time. So this card is super cool. I remember when it got spoiled thinking that it would be pretty strong in a bunch of different formats and it hasn't quite panned out as well as people thought it was going to. And I'm pretty surprised because when I've played it in my commander games it's always exceeded expectations and been really useful and versatile. There's a lot of really different things you can do with this card. So first, the most obvious is it's great in any deck that wants to be triggering enter the battlefield abilities. Giving you two copies of a creature when you don't really care about the stats means you get two triggers of their ETP which can be really powerful. If you're playing something like Grey Merchant of Asphodel, this can finish the game really quickly. Sepulchral Primordial is another of my favorite ones to target with this since you can get six creatures back from the graveyard after you've split it into two. That's amazing and both those are amazing ways to try to finish the game or go over the top of your opponents. But it doesn't end there. This can be a really excellent reactive card as well. If someone is trying to target one of your important creatures such as an Elish Norn then you can respond with this to get two copies of Elish Norn. And then the first one is going to die but due to state based effect it's going to first give all of your opponent's creatures minus four minus four which means that those with zero toughness from then will also die. That's just an example of what kind of powerful plays you can do with this. Obviously it's better using it on something that isn't legendary but using it in response to removal is a very effective way to foil your opponents and get some value out of your opponents trying to kill one of your things. However, the most interesting use for this, I think, is as a way to disrupt infinite combos or to disrupt game winning plays by your opponents. Usually these kind of cards are not that flexible. They just let you do one thing and do it very well. In this case, that would be copying your creatures, which isn't something that black gets to do very often. However, this can also act as removal on your opponent's creatures. And you might think, why would you ever want to do that? You're going to be giving them two copies of that. But in certain situations, it doesn't really work that way. If your opponent has a huge Voltron commander that's swinging at you, and in my matter this happens quite frequently, or if somebody has a really big turn where they just sink a ton of resources into one or two big creatures, then being able to destroy them at instant speed and effectively remove them from combat can often buy you just enough time to survive and maybe possibly even win the game next turn on your turn. So the reactive use of this card is actually not to be overstated. It's a very powerful effect to be able to have an instant speed and the fact that it doubles up as creature removal for your opponents is really important. If you care at all about ETBs then it should probably make it into your deck because being able to be used as removal for your opponent's creatures in a pinch is just too good to pass up. Give it a try and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel and until next time take care. Woo! Jungle.